Hey guys, what's up? It's Josh. Welcome back to another video. I'm trying to film this intro before it starts hailing outside, but as you guys can see by the title of today's video, we are looking at the 2019 Audi Q8, and this has a Technic package on it, which is pretty insane with all the different features that it has, but I thought that it'd be interesting to go through some of the cool features and the exterior and the interior and then take it on a drive and show you guys what this vehicle actually has when you buy it. So if you guys are interested in that, keep watching the video. I just wanted to say thank you really quick to Portfolio for giving me this car for the day. I will leave a link for them in the, the description. But with that being said, let's take a look at the Audi Q8. Okay, so starting off with some basic information about the engine in this car. This is a three liter V6. Uh, this current model behind me produces 335 horsepower, which in an SUV is uh, pretty standard. I feel like it doesn't feel very fast when you're driving it. But one thing that I really wanted to focus on was the exterior because I feel like out of all of the Audi SUVs, this one is the most sporty. So the first thing that I want to show you guys is the uh, front of the car and show you guys the lights just because I feel like these are pretty, uh, pretty cool and something that Audi did a really good job at designing. So as you guys can see inside the lights right here, there's a bunch of like different lights lined up and that is your running lights. Now also when you're driving down the road, if you put your turn signal on, uh, these actually light up in a way that kind of has like a swooping motion. So you can kind of like see it go across the front of the lights. Also above here, there are two big lights in there, which are part of your running lights or, or your daytime lights. And then underneath these are actually, this is one big casing for your bright light. So now moving to the back of the car, as you guys can see right here, it has a very like sporty looking back end. And I wanted to just show you guys some of the really cool features that I think come along with the Q8. So one thing that you guys can really notice is this big back light section right here. These lights uh, are similar to the ones that are in the front as they're like lined up in a row right here. So when you lock the vehicle, you guys can see that everything also lights up back here, but then there's also a strip of lights that goes across on the top. So these are the, the turn signals that light up right here. These ones actually light up fully and then this line uh, goes across to make it like a cool swooping motion if you're trying to change lanes. There's this big light bar that goes across right here which looks super cool. I think Audi is doing a great job with the light section on the back of their car. These actually there's nothing in here it's just kind of like a plastic piece that's on here but yeah i feel like the back end of the car just looks really nice and the lights are definitely the the thing that stand out the most so one thing that stands out specifically on the q8 i find are the wheels these are 21 inch wheels now if i go a little bit closer the wheel design actually looks really nice. So that is the outside, the exterior of the Q8. There's some really cool features. I think it looks really nice and they did a good job at styling it. If you are buying the Q8, one of the main things that you're probably looking at is how much space it actually has. So when you open the trunk, this is what it looks like. It has uh, an automatic release and like automatic close so that you don't have to be pulling that thing down because it looks really heavy. But when you actually get back here, there's so much room back here I feel like this has a lot of space now when you pull this up there is just a extra spare tire in there and then there are some LED lights and then it has this cover that comes down for privacy if you really want it and then there are also some uh, little like of these mesh things here to like hold things in if you want that and then also a 12 volt outlet right here yeah that is the back of the q8 and it definitely has a lot of room especially if you put all three of those seats down all right so for some of the interior features uh one thing that i really like that audi is doing is they're making the interiors of their cars where it's all by touch. There's not really any buttons. So when you're sitting in the car, the first thing that you kind of feel is that everything looks like it's just one straight line of glass. And I think that that also gives it a really nice look, especially when the screens are turned off because it kind of just blends the whole dashboard into one. But when you do turn the car on, I think the first thing that you start to notice is how you can actually configure all of the different screens to do different things. So the first screen that we're going to look at is the climate control screen which is the bottom one and as you guys can see there are so many different buttons on here and so many different ways to make your ride in the Q8 more enjoyable. I feel like when they give you this many options for the chair that you're sitting in this car like 
if, if it wasn't comfortable to be driving in, they would be doing something totally wrong. And so as you guys can see on the screen here, there are a bunch of different functions for like your classic, uh, where you want your air to flow, uh, your temperature, uh, your heated seats, your cooling seats, kind of like the normal stuff that you'd expect in a car like this. So moving up to the top screen, the top screen is kind of the, the one that has your navigation on it. It also has your radio and a bunch of other different things that you'd want on your main screen. Now, going back to the main screen, there are a bunch of different settings that you can go through in terms of uh, what you want the inside uh, ambient lighting to look like when you're driving. So if it's nighttime, they give you the option to switch uh, the lines and then there's like lights that kind of light up under the lines that create a really dramatic effect when you're driving at night. So another thing that I wanted to show you guys about the interior of this car is just the, uh, the armrest, just because I feel like it has some cool features Features, which is kind of a weird thing to say because you don't really look at armrests as being cool But I just wanted to show you guys some of the functionalities that it has so as you guys can see right now it is just set up normally like it would be for if you were just driving, but if you want it to be a little bit further back, you pull this thing and you can push it back a little bit so that it like goes back a little bit further. If you want it to go forward, you just pull and it comes forward. Uh, and then also, if you want it to go further, you pull it again and it comes further. So it has a lot of like sliding room right here, which is kind of nice. Now when you open it, you guys can see that also there is a wireless charging pad for your phone, which is super cool. Um, and then also your USB ports uh, and your SD slot are in here. So yeah, it's just a cool armrest. There's just a bunch of different functions that it has. So thought that it was worth noting. So one thing that I think would have been nice to also put in this car that I can't find anywhere, I don't think that there is a button for it and that is a heated steering wheel now this does have a heated steering wheel and you can go through the options in the climate control screen to to put it on but one thing that i think would have been nice was to be like to put it on the steering wheel now audi doesn't like have a button for a heated steering wheel so what they've done is they've actually put a button on here that you can adjust to be whatever you want so this little button right here you can adjust this to be whatever you want in the car. So I have it set right now so that this is the heated steering wheel button. So when I push this, you guys can see on the screen right here, it says that the steering wheel uh, heating has been turned on. And then if I push it, it turns off. But it would have been nice to just like, I don't know, like even one of these little buttons or something just had a heated steering wheel and then you can just put whatever you want for this button. But that is only the real thing that I've noticed in this car that I was kind of looking for that I couldn't find. All right, so now we are sitting in the back seats and I gotta say that if you were a passenger in the Q8, you would definitely be having a super nice ride. <laughs> it is so nice back here. You have so much room and everything, like my legs, I'm not tall, but I feel like my legs have so much room and the chair right now is in the position that I was just uh, sitting in it uh, earlier with. So. This is how much room I still have. I can almost stretch my legs out fully. Back here as well, there is a little screen that lights up. This is what it looks like when it's turned on and it gives you all of the options to adjust your side of the back seats if you want it to be hot or cold or if you want your heated seat to be turned on. All of the like crazy features that you would want if you were sitting in the back seat. Now also if you look down a little bit further they have two USB ports. So a couple of other cool features that I should mention before I get out of the back seat is that it has a really nice sunroof so when you're sitting back here you can kind of look up and just see outside the windows. Now another thing is that not like every other car this one has two window switches. So I can roll down the window. <laughs> of that side over there without being over there. Which I think that the window only rolls down that far. But I mean, if you're sitting back here and you want there to be some more air, you have the option to do that if you want, which is not found on every car. Now it also has a middle uh, armrest piece that comes down. So when you pull on it, it just comes down pretty nice, flops down and then you just push this and your cup holders come out. So that's nice for people that are sitting in the back seat. Also, another weird feature is that this door only has a lock button. So if you're sitting in the back seat, actually I just locked it so I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get out. 
but it only has a lock button. It doesn't have an unlock button, which is kind of unusual, but that's what you get. The seats in the back can actually go down a little bit. Now it's nothing to be really bragging about because it's nothing crazy, but like when you pull the handle, that's how much it goes back. So it's not, it's not really that big at all, but if you want to go back just a little bit, you definitely have the option for it but you don't get to go back that far. <laughs> so yeah, those are all the different features of the interior of the Q8. Uh, there's a lot. The technology in it is definitely amazing. And just the, the build quality and how it feels, feels really nice. So I think that these cars start at around 70 or 80,000 Canadian. So if you're looking for an SUV in that price range, this is definitely one to be looking at. But now I'm gonna take it on a drive and just give you guys my opinion on what it feels like when you're driving the Q8. So let's take it on the road. All right, so first thing that I'm noticing is uh, how quiet it is. Like it was really windy out. I'm sure you guys could tell by what it sounded like when I was filming outside of the car. But you guys can like, I can't hear anything out there right now and the wind is blowing super hard. So that's the first thing that I noticed. The second thing that I noticed was that when you are, when you put your seatbelt on and you start driving, it really tugs on your seatbelt and tightens it for you. I know that like some people when they're sitting in cars and that happens, it kind of freaks them out. But I think it's a good feature that just, it just makes you know that you have your seatbelt on and it tightens it so that it just feels a little bit better when it's on you. It doesn't really have that much power. I feel like 335 horsepower can be a lot for some cars, but I don't know if it's because this car is so heavy or uh, what it is, but when you put your foot down, to be honest, it doesn't really, it's not fast at all. Um, now the ride, like the comfort of it, when I'm just sitting here and, and this is a pretty bumpy road, uh, I don't feel any of the bumps, even regardless of like the, the 21 inch tires that aren't that thick. This car is definitely built with, uh, with good suspension. It's definitely just a big luxurious SUV that looks really nice and sporty on the outside. <laughs> so yeah, that is today's video, the 2019 Audi Q8. It's an amazing SUV. I feel like it's the most sporty out of Audi's SUVs that they have right now. So for the price and for all of the technology that you get and just the quality of the car, I feel like it's an amazing purchase if you are looking for an SUV. It has lots of room in it as well. So yeah. Thank you to Portfolio for lending me this car for the day. Also, I wanted to show you guys how quiet the inside of this car is actually by literally showing you guys a train that is going past me right now. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is a train right outside my car and I am still able, and I am still able to finish this video. So that goes to show you how well it is just being inside this car. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and I will do more car reviews like this, but have an awesome rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.